The Cambridge iGEM team for 2010 would like to present Eid Lolai. Light is an intrinsic part of our everyday lives, with numerous engineering applications. Until now, however, there was no biobrick for the emission of light without substrate in the parts registry. We have developed a range of tools that allow light output from biological systems to better equip the engineers of the future. Bioluminescence is one of the most striking spectacles in the natural world. A large variety of organisms use light emission for a range of purposes. Squid have a relationship with the bacterium Vibrio fischeri, which is able to emit light. Fireflies use bioluminescence in courtship displays. The Cambridge team has investigated both these organisms and submitted biobricks based on them to the registry. We first looked at the North American firefly, Photinus pyralis. The fly is actually more accurately described as a click beetle. It emits lights from a specialised area called the lantern. If we look inside the lantern cells, we see that light is emitted from the peroxisomes. This is where the enzyme luciferase catalyses the process of light production. The substrate on which luciferase acts is a small molecule called luciferin. Unfortunately, the pathway through which luciferin is synthesized is yet to be characterized. However, some of the other biochemical processes that occur in the luciferin pathway are better understood. For example, when a luciferin molecule forms a complex with luciferase, it temporarily forms an excited structure. This excited state quickly drops down into a more energetically favorable form, but in doing so, it emits a photon. The frequency of the photon is proportional to the energy change. The substrate is released in an inactive form called oxyluciferin. This form of luciferin cannot be used to emit light, but another enzyme, luciferin regenerating enzyme, or LRE, converts it into a compound called CHBT. CHBT is believed to be non-enzymatically converted to luciferin, but this requires the addition of the amino acid D-cysteine. The Cambridge team have designed an operon that allows the luciferin cycle to take place in bacterial cells. We took the sequence of amino acids from the North American fireflies luciferase and LRE genes. DNA 2.0 synthesized them for us after cohesion optimization for expression in E. coli. In our research, we had learned about a mutant which displayed 10 times higher substrate affinity than wild type. This involved three amino acid changes. We took our operon and used a technique called Gibson assembly, which we will discuss later, to separate the luciferase and LRE from our operon, and also submitted these as separate biobricks in order to give future teams flexibility. We also placed both the operon and the luciferase gene under a PBAD promoter for characterization and submitted these as biobricks. We wanted to create a range of coloured outputs, and for this we turned to a different species of firefly, the Japanese firefly, Lucio de Cruciata. The Japanese firefly is remarkable in the individuals of the species flash in synchrony, lighting up trees to such an extent that fishermen use their lights to guide them home. For this firefly species, we again codon optimized both the LRE and luciferase genes, and they were sent for synthesis. When they arrived, we again separated the LRE and luciferase and placed the emitting bricks under PBAD for characterization. We used the Gibson method to achieve site directed mutagenesis of the luciferase gene within the operon. A number of single amino acid changes have been described, which significantly altered the color of emission. We achieved five new colors of emission by site directed mutagenesis. To find out more about our project, how we change the colour of emission of the luciferase enzyme, and to learn about our self-sustaining systems based on Vibrio fischeri, please visit our wiki at www.cambridgeigem.org. Thank you.